to YouTube. What's the word with y'all, man? Not today. I'm coming at y'all with Life is Strange Double Exposure Episode 3. Now, I just want to say, man, if y'all haven't tuned into the last two episodes, man, hey, man, stuff has been getting crazy, bro. Now, we got to meet uh, Safi's mom. If y'all don't know, man, Safi had passed away and stuff like that. And we're trying to figure out who killed Safi, man. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to figure out who killed Safi. We're trying to figure out what's going on in the story, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Excuse me for that. But, yeah, bro, we just trying to figure out what's going on in the story. And, uh... If you are new, man, I just want to say, bro, I appreciate you for stopping by on the channel, man. I appreciate you. If you can join the fam, man, the Legend fam, we just go crazy over here. We just have fun. And this is my first time doing a, a decision-based story mode game. So I am going to be doing a lot more other different stories and stuff like that. But I just wanted to kick off this series of just games and just like story mode games with a banger, man. You know what I'm saying? But enough of the talking, man. Let's get straight into that episode three, bro. Gwen? All good? Uh, Max. I, uh... So... I'm a hugger. Um... Are you a hugger? World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins. Boom. Bad reputation, twins. Oh, this sorry. copy might be locked in the case, but it looks like I can grab Gwen another one from the library. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Self-publishing before it was cool? Who are you, Maya Okada? Where's the library at? Finn's always up to something shady. Gotta keep an eye on him. I said that last episode, Max. I'm glad you messing with the vibe. I should probably write something, even if I can't find the right words. Don't worry, we'll get into that display case. 
Expensive display, cheap lock. You love to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Definitely. I just need to find the right tool. This must have the package Ven was worried about. I could bring it to him. Aha! I just gotta find something getting into that case. Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Is it weird that I know that at a glance? Makes you experience, man. That's all it is. It ain't weird, my baby. Hmm. I'm gonna crack this case wide open. I'm gonna go ahead and get bro a package right quick. Here you go. Saved you the trip. What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. Settle down. All right, <clears throat> settle down. You just caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. You know what I'm saying? Talking about more than friends. Niggas is not more than friends. I just met you, my. I just met you, my boy. Calm now. This copy might be locked in the. Hold on now. You might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it. You're a lifesaver. Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. Anytime. My trusty spoon and I are at your service. Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? I don't know about any book, but... She never talked to me about any of her works in progress. What a shame. I was always urging her to finish that manuscript, but she never had the time. I guess she never will. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... A husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that.
I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. Well, they're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... Difficult. Did she tell you that? No, but family is always complicated, isn't it? Who has a perfect relationship with their mom? Well, not Safi. Not always. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. Safi loved lazy. Safi knew. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. Safi was more than just a poet. I want people to remember that. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. Damn, that's tough. Yeah, we gotta get Safi back, because I, I honestly, bro... Thinking about it, man, her, like, I'm going to pause it right quick. I'm going to just have a little talk session right quick. That conversation was kind of deep because, like, suicide is, you know what I'm saying? And it, like, it, it's no joke, man. It's no joke. So, like, she had a valid point, man, you know what I'm saying? The people you love are capable of hiding their own pain. And you don't know what the next person is going through. 
We don't know if Safi wanted to take her own life or not. But what she displayed and how she acted, you know what I'm saying? She was she was business. She was focused on the business, man. She had fun with her friends. She hung out with Max. She was a poet. Like, I don't know. You never know what the next person is going through, though, man. Like, they, they, they hit that home right there, man. They hit that home. Let's go find Moses, though, to man. Moses. To any, and to, I just want to say to anybody that's dealing with any type of thoughts and stuff like that, talk to somebody that know, talk to somebody that you know that loves you, man. And don't be afraid to express yourself. Don't be afraid to express yourself. He's waiting for me in the fact. Everything is gonna be alright, man. Everything is gonna be alright. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything interesting call uh loretta jeez you scared the hell out of me did you need something need nah i was just curious about dr hunter's phone call seems i'm not the only one wow <laughs> caught in the act i swear i used to be better at this kind of thing did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fyatt. Um... I don't want to talk about Safi with you. Pleading the fifth, huh? Kind of an answer in and of itself, but... Do you? That's not what I said. I just... Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. Come on. Fuck out of here. <sighs> what a little shit. Come on. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I wanted to check on you. You seemed so upset in the library earlier. Max, I don't like to be pitied. And I like fake pity even less. Leave me alone. You know, I really thought we were cool. 
I don't like you anyway. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? I might as well pack it all in at once. My nigga Moses up, man. Like, I don't even know why I'm getting all these little side characters. Like, you know what I'm saying? My nigga Moses up, bro. I don't even know where to start. Hey. I'm sorry I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell. But we're both here now. And we're going to get through. I just... I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why did we let her walk off alone like that? I've spent the last two days asking myself that. Over and over. I don't think there's a good answer. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words... Words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. I shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ugh, Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up. Or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company.
double entendres can't be his whole personality, right? I'm pressing A. So, did it make you feel better? Shutting them up? We both know it wouldn't. What I really wanted was to see Sophie shut him up. <laughs> God, can you even imagine? Mm. Hey, I have a question about Sophie. Okay. How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Sophie was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. Okay. I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? I should ask about the bench. <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Lose more if attack. Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can beat any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? Yo. I come in peace. Declare your allegiance. Come on. Seriously? Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get out of Coco. That's it. Snowballs down. Let the observer pass. What is going on? What am I seeing? Better keep following Moses until I figure it out. Yo, what is this?
What are you doing out here? Your final's in five minutes. I'm not the one taking it. It's time for our cocoa. Sophie? You're hopeless. These poor kids pay tuition. Hey, I have a five-star rating with teacher rating. I can't believe Max would stand me up. You're supposed to have lunch with the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid you'll charge the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. That really was Sophie. I think I have to get to her. How am I going to talk to Sophie? Just hear me like I can hear her. Saucy! I'm right here! Right in front of you! Fuck it. I got pizza rolls in my office. Freeze to death. We're going to end it off right there, y'all. We're going to end it off right there, y'all. I just want to say, man. This episode was low key fire. This episode was low key fire. This episode was low key fire, man. So if y'all excited for episode four, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We brought Sophie back. We went back in time, man. We we got our powers, bruh. We got our powers, man. We got our powers, bruh. I'm I'm excited for episode four, man. I'm excited for episode four. But if you excited, man, you know what I'm saying. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. I love and appreciate all y'all once again, man. Y'all be safe, man, and I'm going to catch all y'all in the next one, bro.